Hello guys, welcome back. Right, we're gaming, and I've been busy, 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 busy. So I'll show you. And we have crafting a lot of resources, um, a load of crystal. Went over to the and yeah, just grabbed a bit more crystal for the parasol, and then I've grabbed a crap ton of wood patch and fiber so we can start getting more structures on the go, so we can obviously build out the base a little bit because um, I'm sick of getting attacked by Dichionis, or whatever called. Um, I've done the foundations into wood, uh, just so that they're not broken easily if we get attacked. We've got some gunpowder on the go, actually, now it. We should have a little bit more charcoal, because I haven't been AFK for a while. Yeah. So let's get them on the go. Uh, so yeah, I've been extremely busy with farming. Um, I did claim up into the dialogue, just so we had um, two females for eggs. I tamed up two live straws to get them out of the way after the taming list, male and female as well, so we should we get mate boosted eggs. Um, Parasol we obviously tamed in the last video, uh, but yeah, we've uh, been using it to just go out and gather, so I probably should put some bodies into it really, but I haven't done just yet. But today, we're going to do, we're going to get some, a few more tames done. Uh, got loads of meat there. Got that. So yeah, today we've got a few things on the to-do list. So yeah, and it's mainly taming because, well, that's what this series is going to be all about. Like I said, we're planning on trying to get every dino tamed on the island to start with. And uh, what's level is that? I'm 15. But so the, the priority is a pterodon to try and get a decent each level. But right now we're actually going to try and tame this beauty. Oh no, that's not that. Okay, right, so there's more than one. Nah, that's not good. Okay, so... Where's the other one? <laughs> so basically, I came over here like a few minutes ago and there was a level 120. Sarko. And I get the feeling it's in the water, swimming about somewhere. But that's why I've got the Trank crossbow tamed up. Uh, tamed up. What, about? what the hell am I on about? Crafted up was the word I was looking for. We might even turn both of them, you know. Alright, some comp is there. We need to get rid of that. Let's deal with it. Come here, compies. Come on. Pro fighting skills against compies. And then I'm going to get attacked by a psycho from behind. Where is this high level Sarko now? Like I said, I'm just keeping an eye out because we want a decent level turret on as well. Um, it was over here. With this other one. There's 35. Let's just get this one on the go, shall we? It shouldn't take that many to knock this one out. I think it's going to take like 20 darts to get the level 120, so I'd imagine this one should be like 10 darts. That missed. That did. Oh, I think it's is it running away already. I think it is. It's going to sleep. Sleepy sleep. There we go. I don't know how many of that's going to take. I'm going to take a few more off it though. Alright, so what is it? It's female! We're getting lucky with females. Normally they're the hardest to find, obviously, because they're freaking... Well, not the hardest, but... I'm never lucky enough to get females. But give the eggs. Now, where is this level 120? That's off not using all my sprint stamina up because if we do find it it's gonna just come straight for us. Where are you? Oh life stores. Got a feeling. Oh oh no way I forgot we turned this guy. Oh god. Right, we'll come back for you promise. I was how how it survived, I don't know. Let's see, can you see the Sarko? Oh, 
The thing is, I'm pretty sure that they patrol this area, psychos, when they're spawning. If it takes me too long to find it, don't worry, I'm just going to chop the video down and uh, I'll bring you straight to it, but... While we're looking around, we can be looking for high level pterodons. Oh, by the way, I've found a moss chop as well. Level 135, but we need rare flowers for it, which is what led me to finding this 120 Sarko. I was coming over here to look for beaver dams, knowing you can get rare flowers from them. And yeah, I saw the Sarko. Well, for some reason, it's not playing ball. How's this doing? Unconscious, but. You gonna eat? You gonna eat? Jack up on it in a minute. You might need some narcotics for it. Might not. Dun 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 dun. Crab walking in the water. I'm just gonna have a look over here in case it's in the lake. There's a good chance it is. Okay, there's a good chance uh, it's attacking the base. <laughs> oh god. Is it? It is. Oh god, they're gonna kill it. They are actually going to kill it. I think we're gonna kill it anyway, aren't we? Leave the parasaur alone. Come for me. I can't believe it. Oh, you wouldn't in there. Oh no, he's going to kill it. Oh no, there we go. Yeah, leave the parasaur alone. The parasaur does nothing to you. Oh, there we are. Killed it. Well, at least we've got the female one being tamed up. Bloody hell. Take both of them. We'll take that because we're going to need them. And what we will do is we'll harvest it for the raw prime meat. God, how close is. It's typical, isn't it? We go and find another one and this one ends up attacking the base. Oh my god. That is as close as you're going to get. I need to put. Oh no, wait, it's destroyed my freaking. Oh. Right. Stuff and things have happened. Right, we'll have to craft. Preserve it a bit. I'm gonna craft two of them, sack it. That's annoying. We got very lucky on that, if it has been there all along. Why can't I move? I'm still overweight, that's probably why.
already having to organise things because the game wants to stay the mech. Things start to go disastrously wrong again. Let's go and try and find a pterodon. That way we can get around a little bit quicker. Not much weight, but a little bit quicker. Level 15, that's useless. Um, while we're over here, we'll have a look for the beaver dams as well so we can tame up here, mosh chops. I'm not sure what quality the psycho eggs are, but they'll be worth having either way. Right, now we know there's beavers over here. Right. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Right, we've got beaver over the. That is what we wanted. Screw the rope. Screw the piranhas. Oh, screw the piranhas. Probably going to kill them. Right, so we've got the rare flowers, which is what we wanted. Oh, there's some moss chops over there as well. Literally, in the first episode, we were looking all over the place. We can't find them. And now there's just moss chops everywhere. I think we got away with that. The beaver doesn't seem to be coming for me. Yep, we have got extremely lucky there. How many did I get? 31 rare flowers. Damn. Oh, just as I said it. That's typical. Watch this. Nope, you're not attacking us. And neither is your buddy. What level are these two? 20... 15? You know what I'm thinking? <laughs> Why not? She's running away already, that other one. Out. Come back here, you. Yeah, that's right. Come back. Don't run away. But don't run away. Can I get up here safely? Is it going to be able to climb up here? Probably. Yep. Oh, but it's out. Right, um, right, this was not today's plan, I'm going to be honest. How long do they, they I think they top off pretty quickly. But you know what? It's not too much of an issue. You can just stick some berries on them. Don't know why I'm doing that. We've got the parasol, let's use them. Um, but now though, let's get my rare flowers in there. There's some menthin paste in there. Let's take the tin top berries and take that. And just in case 
we need more to the horizon. Well, talk about getting sidetracked. I weren't expecting to turn me this early on, I'll be honest. <laughs> Right guys, so Castroids are all turned up. They took about 10 minutes, which is actually quite long considering that my taming rate is at 5 and they're only low levels. Um, we do need to come up with a name for them. Uh, behavior. Mm, neutral. Just uh, do the same with this one. If they're a dino that can do like decent damage, I always leave them on neutral, um, just because if anything attacks like that Psycho just did, as you saw it nearly killed the Parasaur, whereas if I'd have had all my dinos on neutral, the Psycho probably would have been killed by the time I got back to it, and they'd have done nowhere near as much damage as they did do to Patricia. Which as you can see, she's nearly fully killed, because I've got food on her, so she's healing up just fine. I don't know if these are both female or if they're male and female. Female, female, yeah, they're both females, but beavers don't lay eggs because they are mammals. Uh, I do need names for these two, so feel free to drop recommendations below because I'm just going to continue to give them generic names until we start getting into breeding and stuff and create the animals of power, as I'm going to call them. Um, which won't be for a while yet, but we are getting that. I mean, I did not think that by the fourth episode in, we'd have this many, including castroids. Um, but now we need to go and find a pterodon. Which means we are going to need some ballers. I'm going to grab four just to be safe. I'm going to grab that block, which I'm going to put into it. We have also got. 20 minutes left on this raw fight. Which I'm not gonna put on the sideboard just yet because. Well, you know what happens there? Can we craft the turret on saddle yet? I think we can. Yeah, there we are. I'm just gonna craft that just so that it is ahead of schedule. And we can actually start crafting guys, soul traps. I'm gonna carry about six of them on there. <laughs> Reason being is we can now travel around through the water a lot quicker with this arco. And if we use soul traps. Oh, got, got twelve of them for that. Not bad. I'm just gonna put these down here. Oh, look at this. E. Let's get rid of these primers. Because normally, no, I didn't mean to do that. Press the uh, jump attack on Sarko by accident. Yeah, normally there's like 135 turtle. We may have to tame that. <laughs> not today, though, not today. 75. I think that's the one that I saw earlier, and it's the highest I've seen around here, so that's the one we're going to go for. Um, 
looks like it may be coming down to land over here. Yep. Really? I'm gonna land on that rock where I can't get to you. They jump down now? This this bird? Yep. Birds taking the out of the Out. Right, um Now what we can do is fly straight back to base. Look at this, it's so much easier in the water with this thing. Tracking for attacking, but speed's pretty damn good. It's going to last the length of time that it needs to do, so we will be putting some normal meat on it as well. I've lost it. But that's why I do love the addition of this. Tell you, how you've tamed it. I don't know how much this, I mean look at the weight, the weight's dismal on these things, but um, Turodons are one of the earliest terms you need to really open up the game for you. Because once we've turned this up, we can actually start searching the entire map from Island Dinos rather than just relying on the nearby dinos. Which I'm going to do. This is probably going to be one of the longer episodes, um, just because we have had quite a bit done in it. But I weren't really planning on having done it in like four minutes, I don't know whether. We're going to... oops, that... Yeah. oh yeah, that'll tear up easily. I don't even think we're going to need any narcotics, but just in case, I'm going to pump a load into him. Saddle. I do want to have a quick gander of something. Because one resource that we do need at the moment that we haven't got just yet. We also need to collect all these explorer notes, guys. This is one thing I forgot to mention. Um, I do want to kind of collect them all before we do leave the map. This could be a mistake. But I wanted to take a trip down here. For this exact reason. Because we need some oil. And I don't think that I'm going to be able to last for very long. So, grab what I can. And then get back on the circle and ride on. Oh, yeah. We are <coughs> Right, note to self, pump a few tributes into oxygen. This is where the knowledge of the map comes in quite handy. Like, I've played this map enough to know where little sneaky resource points like that are. Uh, don't need the storm, so we can get rid of that. We've got a good bit of uh, oil there in our furnace. So, I don't know 
I've lost what I lost. But yeah, um, the reason I wanted that oil, I'll show you when we get back to base. There we are, we have now turned up the turret on. Which means I can officially sally away. Take that. Turret on. on. Uh, can we fly or are we all the way? A little bit all the way, but. Bearable. We'll drop the little... Not really anything. Well, this opens up so many possibilities for us, which is awesome. The other good thing about pterodons is they should be able to handle the itchy arnis for us a lot better than just having to use a bow and arrow. Now level 44, sweet. Let's put that in there along with the silica pearls. Right guys, so I'm going to show you now what we needed the oil for. It was this. We should be able to craft one. Yes, we can. So this is going to become very helpful when it comes to reading and collecting stuff. Um, as you can see, let me just show you. Admin, no, nope. options, automation should have evolved all these ticks, but for some reason it appears that the settings hasn't kicked in, which is a bit annoying. But I will be changing that because basically it means the eggs and stuff from around here will get collected by it rather than me having to hand to collect them. Um, oh god, that noise. I'm pretty sure that I did have the setting turned on for it. Bug zapper? What's that? But yeah, we can also store our soul souls in here, which is good. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you more about that once we've actually got it up and running and working properly. But I'm glad that we've got to craft it today. Uh, and I'm glad that we've actually managed to get a turret on. I'm going to try and look to see if that mosh chop is a high level one over there is still there. Uh, because if it is, we will look at grabbing that in the next episode. Well, like I said, now that we've got a turret on, we can start looking at the exciting stuff. We can start looking at her into breed and stuff like that for the high level dinos that we are going to end up getting. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment below and feel free to give me some name suggestions because I'm just going to keep calling them boring names like Patricia. See you next time.